the receiver. What are your thoughts on that? Um, it was a great pretty call by um, Coach Bobo. You know, we got down in the um, high red area, around that area, and um, you know, he's a call a great play. We're working on a play for a couple weeks now, and um, executed to perfection. So, um, great call on um, um, Coach Bobo. Great throw by um, D'Lo, and it just all worked out at the end. And you, know, and you know, Dylan had an arm like that? Yeah, I knew, yeah. Yeah, I knew. He, he, he kind of a dual athlete, as you can tell. He played running back, receiver, quarterback, do it all. Something like that seemed like it's taking forever for the ball to come down in your hands. Or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It did feel like an eternity, but I just, I'm just grateful to be in the um, position to, to make that type of play and, um, you know, just have the opportunity to make that play. Make that play. So. When you're going out, can you see like, everybody on the defense coming in? I mean, can you see, like, the receiver going out and it's not going to be anybody? Um, yeah, you can kind of you can kind of tell by the flow of the defense how they flow, and they kind of like just flew to the ball. But they thought it was sweet, so everybody flew to the ball and they just came back from, from the backside. Marcus, what's it like the immediate focus you guys have to have on offense after giving up a touchdown? I mean, hostile environment. It's just like what you guys do now. Um, it's just something that it just you know something that we we ingrained into the um the identity of the offense. You know, um, we we understood that it was coming into an environment that was hostile and it was going to be loud and it was going to be us against them. So um. You know, they, they struck first in the first play of the game, but, you know, we had to come back on offense and just execute and do what we do on a daily, on a daily basis to, uh, you know, just get back in the game, to keep our confidence going, and just, know, just uh, you know, just have give us another chance. Oh, it was loud. I, I, I don't remember the last time it was this loud. I know we came here two years ago. It wasn't this loud two years ago, so it was definitely loud. It was definitely, um, the crowd definitely had an effect on the game, but, you know, we was able to overcome that. Um, that was another, that's the fact that um, we don't really worry about, so we, we were able to overcome that um, that fact that the crowd, the stance, and um, no plays with the football. Marcus, you guys win. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I love more parties. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You guys won 8-0 in the SEC three straight years. Um, nobody's ever done that before. I mean, what, what, do you, what do you make of that? Um, you know, great coaching, great players. You know, it's, it really is a blessing. Um, you know, uh, the guys that have been on the team in three, four years, especially the guys that have been here during the two rounds back to back, uh, they've been playing. We've, we've been putting them so much work together for over three, past three, four years. So um, to have an opportunity to accomplish something like that, um, 8-0 and in, in SEC play, for three years straight, that's 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 a blessing, and we just thank you for that. So we just trying to go on, to, go on to the road, on to the next. Yeah, you you know the history of this conference somewhat. I mean, how, how difficult. Yeah. It's hard to get your mind around it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it's kind of astonishing, you know, because um, I grew up watching SEC football. And I know how hard it is. That's what everybody wanted to play. So um, you know, be able to go in and play SEC football and be able to know every year for the past two years. This is kind of a blessing. Marcus, Marcus you, you played in the Orange Bowl. Um, yes, sir. You guys haven't lost since then. I mean, what do you make of that? That's pretty. That's pretty. I I, I have no idea about nothing. That's pretty neat too. And uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Marcus, what is it like emptying out of stadium in the fourth quarter, man? Like, um, what's that feeling? You guys take pride in that? Do you yeah, enjoy it? I ain't it's, it's a great feeling, especially coming to an environment like Tennessee. Um, knowing that the crowd is gonna be loud, knowing they're gonna be, um, they know they're gonna be deep, knowing there's gonna be a lot of people out there, and um, you know, just being able to go out there, execute on offense and defense, do their job, and we work together all three phases of the game: offense, defense, other teams, and um, you know, just be able to execute and you know, play the football that we know how to play. So um, that's that's what we try to do today. That was the focus of for the day. Um, um, I go this whole our our um our message this whole week was no one safe. Um any, anywhere, anytime. So that's what we believed in it and we we invested in it and we you know that's what we did.